Okay, uh, in your opinion, are Belarus really preparing for the full-scale escalation now? Uh, I think it's a lot of uh, Lukashenko's uh, rhetoric uh, about that. And uh, this is a part of uh, whole like, official Minsk uh, uh, actions after when war started. Uh, now, that's what I say, like uh, this last, uh, last two years for Ukrainian media, and so I can repeat, that uh, looks like yeah, Lukashenko's role is uh, not to really, in fact, involved uh, to the war uh, by Belarusian army, but Lukashenko's role is to uh, t- uh, like uh, uh, make a make a problems for Ukraine, uh, make a, uh, uh, Ukraine like should be in a status that nobody know will Belarusian army join the war like the next day or not. So that's why Minsk do a lot of provocations on the Belarusian Ukrainian border. A lot of preparations, a lot of strong military statements. Uh, we see uh, like a series, series of military trainings, like a common Belarusian Russian. And I remember like a uh, era, of, era of training started, and Ukrainian media calling me and asking, okay, so war uh, by, by Belarusian army, so it, it will start next day. Yeah. I say no and explain, and nothing happened. But of course, uh, it's about you know it's about Ukrainian attention. So uh, according to this not understandable situation, uh, Ukraine uh, takes some soldiers, some military technique, some equipment, whatever, whatever, or not in Donbas, uh, but on the Belarusian Ukrainian border, and that's what Russia exactly wants, and that's what Lukashenko can really provide to Russia and beautifully do it. So uh, looks like during the war. It will be more and more, more Belarusian Russian military trainings, a lot of provocations, a lot of strong statements. And of course, you know, like uh, if you if it's your strat- strategic, so uh, this idea you should make uh, like a uh, stronger, stronger, stronger statements every time. Uh, you can't be on the same level. So that's why we see uh, a lot of things which looks like escalation from Minsk, but in practice, nothing happened. So that will continue because it's still interesting for Putin. And as I say, Lukashenko will do it. Yes, but under what conditions will Belarus military be forced to take part in the war directly? Uh, do they have uh, enough uh, military forces? Mm-hmm. I'm based uh, uh, on, the ne- on the I'm based on the mm-hmm. uh, last statements of Lukashenko. It's a really good question. Uh, of course, I'm not like a military analyst, so I can I can speak about you know uh, types of tanks and whatever. Uh, but uh, what I can say, uh, we see that uh, Belarusian army transfer a lot of technic and equipment to Russia just because Russia need it. So maybe it looks like now there's uh, not not so much technique in Belarusian army like two years before. Uh, we see that uh, Belarusian army have no real experience uh, in real war. For example, Ru- Russian army, they have uh, a war in Chechnya, in Georgia, in Syria, some Wagner groups in Africa, whatever. Uh, there is no experience for Belarusian army like this. And uh, of course, the, the third thing, it's a moral spirit. Because uh, for uh, even for Russian army, it's, it's not so good. We see a lot of stories about it. Uh, so people, they not so like brave soldiers want to protect Mother Russia and Putin and fight Ukraine's Nazi. It's not. It looks like a lot of them totally not not so uh, not so morally ready for war. Uh, but and uh, for Belarusian army, uh, like the main problem for this spirit is that there is no sense. For Belarus in this war at all, there is no any idea, even even in propaganda, we can't find info why Belarus needs this war. What's the sense? Uh, and uh, the problem is uh, for Belarus that uh, Belarus will be in a bad situation in any case. If uh, if we just imagine that Russia wins this war, of course Belar- Belarus will be next uh, really easy. It's bad for Belarus. If we see that Russia will lose this war. Okay, Belarus will be co-aggressor of loser. It's also very bad. So there is no really good explanation for what we should fight. And uh, there is no some uh, imperial spirit in Belarus uh, because 
because we're not Russia, we're not, we're not empire any any time anywhere. And uh, so, the, so ideas that Belarusians should fight for Ukrainian territories it's not understandable for anybody. Well, why we need it? Nobody says that we need. It. And of course, uh, war is not uh, really just in general. Even not this war, but war in general, is totally not popular in Belarus. Uh, and if uh, Russians uh, say that uh, about Second World War, Russians say we can do it again, and Belarus we say never again, because for Belarus Second World War is something really personal. It's a personal story. It's happened on Belarusian territories. Uh, like everybody, they have some like a uh, grandmother, grandfather, or grand grandfather die on this war, who personally know this experience. How it's terrible. Uh, how it's disgusting in crisis. And uh, so that's why uh, war is totally not popular for Belarusians. And uh, after all, all, all of these cases, uh, of course, there is no like sociological data about uh, soldiers because in you know, like uh, any army in the world, there is no possibility for independent scientists uh, to make in independent interviews with soldiers. But in general, when uh, sociological service of uh, Chatham House asking uh, Belarusians uh, what Belarusians think, will Belarusian army take part, part uh, if it will be an order to go to Ukraine and fight, uh, what Belarusian army will do. And the most popular answer is we don't know. We have no idea what will happen. And uh, like uh, uh, also another popular question is that uh, like uh, it's more the same level, like uh, 20% that somebody thinks that uh, Belarusian army, yeah, they will fight. Somebody thinks that maybe uh, they they just use their uh, weapon to attack their officers and to attack officials because they think it's not so good that these uh, officers send them to die in Ukraine. And somebody thinks that the yeah, Belarusian army just will do nothing. But uh, after all of this sociology, what we know? We know that nobody knows what really happened. And it will be different things. Somebody will fight. Somebody will fight against uh, official needs. Uh, whatever will happen. Some of them maybe will uh, go to Ukraine with a weapon and uh, join uh, Kastuskilinovsky team and uh, fight against also Belarus and Russia. So after all of this, it's so clear to understand that there is not a lot of sense, not a lot of military sense to, uh, uh, to make this happen, to send the Belarusian army in Ukraine. And if, if it's happened, what will happen next? Next time, uh, Russia will uh, they like they should to somehow support Lukashenko in this situation, somehow protect the Belarus-Russia border, and after all of this, after all of this, it's so clear to understood why Belarus army uh, still not take part in the war. It's not because of like Lukashenko will or whatever. It's because of uh, really no no military sense, and this happened because of a. Uh, like a Belarusian anti-war spirit, not only current, but as I say, also historically based. And after all of this, there is no make sense for Putin and Lukashenko to uh, to, do, to join uh, to join Belarusian army. And maybe uh, the main thing what Belarusian army can do in this war, it's yeah, uh, to make a provocations on the Belarusian Ukrainian border, and to, and that's why Ukraine should uh, should take some resources to this border, not not in the war.